Hello. <laughs> Here I am. Right, let's get sorted here. Put that on the desk, got the jappers ready. Anyone else got jappers? I love jappers. They're one of my favourite things. So I'll move that over a little bit. So welcome if you're joining me. Let me know if you're crafting. I'll just stick that there. I hope it stays there. I've just got a few things out. Wait for the people come on. I've got this paper called Tartan Foil. Specialty designer series paper. Oh, look at the back of them. You know what? I didn't realise that had the back of it. I thought it was all just one-sided, like this side. They've got colours on the back. Look. Oh, there you go. Isn't that handy? Oh, this gave me an idea. <laughs> so there's three colours in the packet. Copper clay, Lost Lagoon and Pebbled Path. And it's so pretty, look. Let's get one of each out. Oh no, well, let's get two of each out. No. <laughs> let's just pull it up. <laughs> I'm just trying not to get this sticky thing stuck on anything because I'm very good at that. And if you're not careful, it sticks on to things. Right, let's just go and find my video. How are we all tonight? Do that. Um, check, I can hear me. Yep. Good o. Oh, there's everybody before me. <laughs> Didn't see the comments on the iPad. Hi, everyone. Hi, Zena. Hi, Lynette. Just watching. That's okay. <clears throat> I couldn't see the comments on the iPad straight away. Maybe you all just came in at the same time as me. So I've got these stamps out, wonderful thoughts, because I want to do something with congratulations. And these are the dies that go with that. And look, there's little hearts, there's little flowers, there's the shapes to cut out the words. And there's even like just a shape to do the a sentiment on its own. Oh, cool, look at these. Hang on, I better move this beautiful paper out of the way before I damage it. See this one? What's that for? Oh, look. You're wonderful, you're loved, you matter. Look, it fits over that. How cool is that? That's really cool. So they're just handy dies for when you want like a little one. I'll just leave that there for a minute. I'm sure I've used them before, but yes, I have. Look, what have I done? I've used thinking of you up there. So we'll just pop that to the side for a minute. Are you crafting Athena? I think Athena's getting ready for markets. Turn that phone off. Right, now we have got to pick a card base. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> I have to have a little cough. <coughs> Sorry about that. So dinner. I was just wondering about embossing before we pick a card base. I was just going to emboss a piece of vellum. Why not? And use the metal plate 3D because I thought that might look alright on the top of one of these. Because it sort of looks, I really like that side as well. Oh. just do that. So let's go, I might just chop that one in half. Let's get that off there and that off. Oh, it's stuck everywhere again. <coughs> I've been <laughs> making cards all afternoon. Doing different things. Oh, you're not crafting, you're making pocket painters. Well, that's still crafting in a sense. In a sense. Athena makes beautiful things and sells them at markets. So look her up. <laughs> Give her a plug. 
15 and a half so I want to go seven what's that seven and three quarters is it it's 14 15 and a half just do a half of one <coughs> and now that over there I'm gonna have to do this one in the big embossing machine because it's a big folder Make sure you've got that fairly straight. Oh, you've got a straight line here <laughs> so you can see if you've got it fairly straight, okay? Which is really handy. So on this plate it shows you what you need. If you're using a 3D embossing folder, which this one is, it says 3D on the packet there. Yeah. So you need that one and you need number four, which is the start coloured one. They're all numbered, they're so handy. Okay, and you put your hinge in first, whichever way you're going. We'll just go back this way today. And they go through quite nicely. Look at that. Just want to see what that looked like on some of the paper. I actually like that idea. Hmm. Something a little bit different. Right. Back over here. And back over there. Right, let's cut a piece of paper down. I've had a busy couple of weeks. I went away last week. I'll cut that to ten. But my daughter's helping her out a bit. And then I've had my retreat day on Saturday. That was so much fun. It's really cool. I don't know if you saw my post or not. I'll cut that straight then. <laughs> I hope that gets straight too. Yes. Yeah. Right, we've got a piece and a piece. I'll put that on there. Yeah, I'll go and get my card so I can show you. <clears throat> in case you missed it. So I did these for my... That's the one I made on Saturday. And I'd already made the pink one. So these colours here, that's Granny Apple Green. And that was... Um, what's that called? <laughs> Mental Block. Is it Melon Mambo, I think? Melon Mambo. And so it folds flat. So I've got to make an envelope for it. And then it's got little bits in there, see? So that was my Saturday one. Now these pieces here... <laughs> glow in the dark. Oh, I can't do it. The light's on over there. Maybe you should try. Maybe we'll try. Let's just light that up. Just stick it up in the light for a moment. Although it's been sitting in the light anyway. <clears throat> Hang on, I'll be right back. <laughs> the lighter. I didn't turn this light off first because I don't want to keep walking in the dark. Let's see if it works. Might not because the computers are on. Oh no. Look at that. My computer screen's on. So look, you can see the light, the glow in the dark a bit. Isn't that cool? Some of the light's coming off the computer there. But if I go that way, you can actually see that they're glowing. That is so cool. Oh, hi, Dimity. Welcome. Just saw you there. Right, let's put the lights back on. Gotta put the other one on. So that 
was a bit of fun creating that and that way you can pop it up on your thing or fold it flat so if you'd like to learn to make those let me know <coughs> I'm still writing my instructions for that one <laughs> I'm a bit, a bit behind last week okay what do we do with this one let's have a look I'm wondering whether to use the other side or not colour base will we put it on stick them up there stick it I just feel like it might be a bit too much if we do it on the, the same colour I did get out my pretty peacock maybe do it on pretty peacock that might be nice I don't think I really want to do that on one of the other colors so what's the other color I got out pebbled palm Sorry, Jimmy, did, did you mean I was quiet? Is that because I was in the other end of the room turning the lights off? Can you hear me now? <laughs> I went and turned the light off. No, I don't like that on there at all. So that I could show you the glow in the dark bit. I think I'll put it on there. I think I like that. Let's try that for tonight. Put it up there. Whoops, today is everything's going to fall off. Building castles in the air. Oh, did you mean dark green? I'm trying to work out what you mean. I thought Di's not here, is she? <laughs> <laughs> Or is she? She might be lurking somewhere. Lurking in the shadows. Right, we'll just <coughs> fold that one. So these papers, these ones here, are in the online exclusives. Let me just go and look in there. Online. If you go to your website now, look not now, but when you look at the website, the shop site, if you look under menu, you'll see a thing called online exclusives, and you'll find them in there. They're tartan foil specialty designer series paper. And they're seventeen dollars fifty. They're just great for all sorts of different things. And I thought, well, I want to do a congratulations card. So I'll try that. What about that? With that, I like that on there. But I don't know if that's too much of it. Am I covering too much of it up? I guess you still see it, don't you? Maybe I should go this way. Congratulations. How big is this? Congratulations. What else will we put on there? Need some ideas. Anyone got any ideas? This is where my ideas people come in. Oh, thanks. So that'll cut that out. I mean, I don't have to cut it out with this little thin one. I could just do it on a bigger piece, like, like this one. Oh, no. We'll have to cut that longer if I use that, won't we? I need something else to go on here. All right, let's think about that for a minute. Um, where's my ribbon? I'm just grabbing bits of ribbon from around the room. This one's really pretty. It's almost like a Christmas card then, isn't it? 
<laughs> no, I don't think I'll use that. Oops, the daisies. <laughs> Dropped it. That's where you need that card that says oops, the daisies. An easy set. And you drop your ribbon on the floor and it all comes off the roll. Right, so it's all okay. I'm just thinking about a few different things. <gasps> this one might be nice. <gasps> That's all pretty. That goes in nicely. Oh, we've got this colour that might complement. Oh, decisions, decisions. Oh, look at that. And then this one, so the coppery one comes with this one, which I haven't opened yet. Oh, <laughs> my thing on the scissors. This one, you can, I've actually seen them fray it. Oh, it's really nice and soft. I've seen them fray that one. We could even put that on there. Oh, you know, I wonder if you can stamp on this ribbon. That other ribbon we had, we could stamp on it. Let's stamp on it just for fun. Right, block. Let's stamp on it. Get that out of the way. Right, where's that bit of paper I had? Bit of paper I had earlier. Let's stamp on that. That's all folded there. I'm gonna give it a go. I'm trying to think what I did last time when I stamped on the ribbon to stop it running. Oh, can't remember. <laughs> Go some pretty peacock. Turn that around that way. Let's get it going first. This ink pad's gone a little bit dry. Oh no, it's all right. That looks straight. <laughs> oh, I can't see it probably. Hold it in there for a minute. Ta da! Look at that. Now I'm going to get my heat tool out and dry it straight away with the hope that it won't run. Gotta be careful with things like this. I'm not sure what it's made of. Oh, it doesn't say it. Um, does it say it on the pack? Polyester. We've got to be careful. <laughs> got to be careful about drying, okay? Don't heat it too much. Take it away a bit. Press on it and see. Yep. We'll see how it goes. When I did it on the other ribbon, we used to have it did bleed a little bit into the ribbon after a while, so it may do that. I'm not sure whether this one will or not. But that's cool. Oh, we won't even need that now. Okay. So what will we do with it? What else do we need? Will we go around the back of that card? That beautiful paper? Like that? Maybe we will. 
see that that's already got a folding one in. Oops. Look at that. I feel like we might need something else under it. Like, I'll stick that bit on. And I think I'll just use a bit of. I was doing a video <laughs> earlier for something, and I had another Tom Boo glue. We must have run dry on Saturday when we were in class, and I didn't realise. One of them was empty. I'm sitting there in my video going, <laughs> trying to get the glue out. <laughs> I know, it's just funny when I did it, that's all. So I'm going to fill up the little hole a bit there carefully. So there's just enough on it to hit the paper. We don't really want to see them, but we need to have enough glue on them to hold. And we can put a bit in the middle, underneath things, the ribbon, where the ribbon's going to go. We just do that across there. Oops, wrong thing. Let's not do that. <laughs> Let's put it on the right piece. One side is that straight? Let's pick it up. I think it is. Push the other ones too much. Oh, that one's going to have a bit coming out the top. Just use a tissue and dab that off. We've got any extra coming out. Lovely. So, did anyone come up with any ideas for me? What else we can stick in there? aiming for a nice easy card for you. Do we want some of this one as well? Maybe we could just put that in that. Or do we want this one? Oh, that's so pretty. I think I like that one. Well, they're all pretty, but let's play a little bit shall we? Oh, that one went go the way I want it to. Copper clay. Where do you think we should put the copper clay, Lily? Do you like it with the copper like that? Or do you mean some copper clay embellishment pieces like dyes? We could use something out of something else. Or we could even use this thing and cut some things to go in there. And some down here maybe. Let's see what else we can find, shall we? Um Do you like those timeless, timeless arrangement dies? They're always cool. See these ones I drew onto the packet. I should have done that with those. I still might. See this one. You die cut them out. You can put them under things like that. Hmm. 
That's good you put on there. Congratulations. I think. We'll do something different. Looking on the wall over here. That's where all my stamps are. Looking at that crafting one. In the crafting one. Depends what you're giving the card for, doesn't it? And this one's got a pair of scissors and a ruler. So if it was a crafting, congratulations. Oh, <laughs> can't get that off the glue. <laughs> that was a bit hard to get off. See, that's got a ruler on it. You could even stick a ruler in there. And scissors. Make a pair of scissors and stick them out the top. Oh, they've even got a trimmer. Stick a trimmer under there. Some scissors. I'm not sure we will. I'm just coming up with ideas. These are even little cotton reels. One of these things. Oh, you know what you could do? Put that in the... Put a little bit of ribbon in there and stamp on it. That'd be cool. For another card. <laughs> Not this one. Right. I'm just trying to think outside the, you know, square. Outside the rectangle. Ruler back. That's such a cute set, that one. That's the crafting with you set. trying to think of ideas. And that's what I was thinking something else then. What was it? Hearts. There's hearts on this one. So you could put hearts on there. Congratulations. And some of these out the top maybe. These ones. What do those ones look like? That'll be over that way, won't it? Maybe that would look better up there. We'll just have to die cut some out. Might die cut those. Those ones back in there. I think that one might be too big. Now, I've got to pick which colour to die cut them out of. I don't know yet. <laughs> it's for someone. I'm not sure whether it's male or female. Could be both. It sort of looks masculine, but then I like those colours. Let me find some other paper. Um, this one 
wondering whether to add a bit of gold into it. To bring it up a bit. Oh, that. Anyway. I've got to find it over here. That's the distressed gold. Just trying to know what that looks like. See if I've got anything big enough. Um, a few off cuts here. I'm thinking I might just die cut them like that and use up the the corners of these. So I cut out the big deckled circles out of these the other day. I always keep my little scraps as you know and that way We can just cut out little pieces in the corners. Let's try that. Get a few components going. Let's put that on there. I'll fit in a mini. I had to fix my mini handle the other day. It came off while I was away. <laughs> but if you've ever have your handle come off, you just have to un well it'll be off but you need to take this piece out here that piece and there's a screw in there and you just put it back in and tighten it <coughs> it's all good again <coughs> let's try this so we don't i'm i'm just going to cut the little pieces you know we've got this big piece that we could use but because i just want to use up my scraps i'll just them on like this. Can I get two on there? No. Don't think so. Although we might get one of those on. Let's have a look. Put that one down. get a piece in there look I'll do that one after do this one first just playing with it a little bit to try and get the best usage out of my bit of paper that's a good way to use up your scraps like we can get it off <laughs> just to give us an idea it lifts it a bit I think <clears throat> what do you think do you like the gold you move your take your pick tool out of the way before you start rolling. 
don't want to end up with one of them in your finger. We've got that extra little piece there <coughs> that'll go underneath. Whichever way we want it. Just keep doing a few of those. This one that will go. Oh, will it make it? <coughs> make it this way. Nope. <laughs> I'm trying to fit it on that piece. You still prefer the copper clay? It tends towards the reddish tone and is shiny. Which bit? What's shiny? Copper clay. You mean copper clay card stock? Oh, the ribbon. Don't worry about the owner. Thank you. You mean putting that on there? With the gold? Do you like it with the gold? What if we put that across the bottom? And just put some of them on the top. Or do you think some copper clay, copper clay card as well as these little bits to bring it both ways? Hang on a minute, let me find my copper clay. Got a bit of copper clay here. Be shiny, no. But if, what if we cut some of the little shapes out of it? It sort of clashes with that a bit, doesn't it? Mm. Let's see what it looks like under there. With a bit of that. We don't need the little gold bits. Just thinking now maybe we should just put that on there. With that along the top and the bottom. I'll keep it really simple. Let's add some bling to it. What do you think? Do you like it with the top and bottom? Or just the top or the bottom? No, I think if I did it one or the other, I'd do just the bottom. Because I could always use bling. I'm just not sure about the gold with it. Mm. I'm not feeling it. feel right. We'll keep them for something else. Let's put them over there. For now. Put them over there. And put them on the Jaffa box. <laughs> Hi Amanda. I'm just fiddling around here. Playing with ideas. And at the moment we're up to this idea. 
And we could put hearts on there, couldn't we? With that gold, with that. Congratulations. I guess it depends what the congratulations is for, doesn't it? If we put hearts on it. And yeah, I'm not feeling hearts. They just look quite... Maybe we just stick with the simple one. Right, let's put this one on first. Look at this baby on. Oh, we could do it. Oh, you know what? We could do it like that. You know, I... <laughs> just off I go on a tangent. <laughs> we could do it on a... Oh, I think I like that better. I do like things on angles. Sorry, I'll get in the camera. Camera view. Yeah. What about that? And then we could put a bit down the other side. Not that piece, those two. Yes. I like her. Okay, let's try and keep that in the same position, shall we? How are we going to do that? Okay, <laughs> we're going to use a pencil, that's how. Let's pull that out of there. And we just want to put a mark under there. Is my head in the way? There. Maybe about the same as the other one. Actually, you know what? I should have it about there so that the other ribbon goes into the corner. Sure that one goes into the corner. Whew, that made me quiet, didn't it? <laughs> right, so if that one's there and that one's there. Look at that fold in the ribbon, but once I pull that out, it should be okay. So now the question is, if I put tear and tape under that, is it going to show? That's a good question. Let's see. <laughs> we'll see in a second. I am going to put a piece on the back first. So if that's where it's going... Going to put a piece on here. Let's see if. Oh, that's right, it's got to go that way. Does it show? I don't think it does. I think it's good. Okay, cool. I'm going to go down the middle then. I don't want to be wonky there. <laughs> Am I 
won't go too far over there because we've already oh, put something in there. Hope this is going to work. Stick your fingers to it. Put out your little silicon tip so you don't stick it to the table. Right, so that one was already stuck. So I'm just following my guides. Hang on, let me get up there. Following the little lines that I drew on there. And I'm pulling it a little bit taut because I want it to be a little bit taut and I'm hoping that holds it okay. Feels like it is. It's a little bit bubbly but you know this is bubbly so I don't think that's terrible. If you want it at all bubbly you could put more tape underneath it. I don't think I'll worry about it though. I think we'll just go around like that. Put another bit under there. <laughs> For me tonight. <laughs> too much card crafting? No. How can you have too much card crafting? Trim those bits off. Oh. Not that they really matter, you won't see them anyway. Right, on the floor, vacuum up later. Does anyone else do that? Okay, now with these ones, is this the same width as my tape? Oh, it's pretty close, look. <laughs> We're going to have to be careful with this one. Things keep rolling around there. Right, turn that sideways. And yes, I can hear what you're saying now. <laughs> I should have put this on first. <laughs> before I stuck those ends down. Is that what you're thinking? That's what I'm thinking. Then it would have gone underneath just a little bit, wouldn't it? Yes, Fiona. See if I can do it. Let's do it with one side and see what happens. So oh, it's going to, it's going to do its fray thing. No, I better not do that because <laughs> this is designed to fray this ribbon. Okay, we'll just have to do it. You can cut this in half if you want to. to. I'm just going to try and butt it right up next to, almost under. This. Go under it a little bit. And then it should stick the edges down. I pull it over the edge. Oh, it's stuck now. <laughs> okay, it'll be okay. Right, I will just flip this one down under there. 
and we'll put the other one on before we do anything else. spot well, there you go that's working out anyway isn't it Fiddling around, eh? This one is stuck right down here. Hang on. We'll pull that off a little tiny bit. There we go. This is fairly flexible, which is very handy. It's nice and soft, that ribbon. Looks sort of big and harsh, doesn't it? But it's actually quite soft. Oh, look at that. We did it. We did it. Woo! Congratulations. <laughs> oh, now I've gone too tight. <laughs> oh, it's gone a bit tight. What have I done? That was just with that last bit of tape, I think. That last little bit. Is that this piece? Might be all right once I pull it off. Stretch it out a little bit. Ooh. Righto, let's put some ribbon on. Just be careful that you don't do it too tight. I think this is the same both sides. I'm going to go right to the edge so that the other ribbon. is on it as well. That's going to bubble a bit, but that's all right. Gives it a nice pretty effect. Look, gets that shine going, doesn't it? All right, I'll just that over. Oh, that looks pretty. Okay, I'll take the paper off this one. up against the edge of that. I can't see it probably. I think I'll work better with it this way. on there, that fits on there. And that fits on there. 
Lovely. Just going to put a piece across the top of that. What else do we need on there? I'm actually wondering whether to put that up and not do it flat. I'll have a flat card. I've got some of this stuff I've been using today. And we could put it up on some of that. This is really good if you're using, uh, making, what do you call it? What do you call those cards? <laughs> Shaker cards. Good for that. So you could put, you know, heaps of dimensionals on, or you could just use this. Not too long. Gonna just come in a little bit from the edge. So you can cut this any width you want. Or you can even die cut it. already a funny shape there and I might just use that piece to not sometimes I do them thinner depends I'm going to take that sticky off there otherwise it won't stick to it take the backing off that tape I was doing a quick card. What happened? <laughs> I think once you know what you're doing, you could do it quicker. That's why I call it Wing It Wednesday. Wing It Wednesday. I have chicken wings for dinner. Oh, look, I found another piece in the packet. Just going to make it look a little bit nicer. There is enough for the edges. as well. I think I'll just put two on there. Just to hold up the middle bit of it. Right. Put the backings 
off. And don't forget to take the ones off the middle. A bit hard to get off once you've stuck it all down. Although it probably wouldn't matter anyway, would it? It's just to support it. All that rubbish in the bin. Oh, some of it. <laughs> it's a big mess to clean up. Okay, now just be careful when you're putting this on because once it's stuck, now the other thing you can do is use your silicon mat. Actually, stand up to do this. can see through the silicon mat a bit and she hasn't got the right spot. Oh. You want to make sure you've got it fairly well centered before you put it on there. I think it's okay. Hope it's okay. It's a tiny bit bigger at the top than the bottom. Oh well. We'll just have to do something to distract your eyes. If we need some bling on it. Right, oh, right, let's find some bling. Because the other thing you could do, oh, just thinking of things as I go, you could actually do twisted ribbon. If you wanted to really fancy it up. Do a twisted thing. Just some thoughts for you. I've done twisted ribbon on a wedding card once. It turned out really good, but it was a velvety sort of ribbon. That's one idea. Because we could. Oh, keeps on twisting. Could always do a bow. Stuff just wants to twist all the time. Um, just gotta untwist it. What do you think of a bow on it? Congratulations. Don't mind that. I think I like it at the bottom. Top. Oh, I don't know. What do you think? Can you have a think about that for a minute? I'll find the bling box. Let's see what I've got in the bling box. I've got something with copper in it. I don't know whether we go with a copper thing or might be clashing with that. Oh, maybe not. Oh, what else have we got in here? Oh, it's not much in my bling box at the moment. If I dump it on my bling. Oh, I must have moved it the other day. Do you know? There's some more bling over here. What have we got in here? These ones that have got sort of that lost lagoony colour in them. Pretty peacock. I think we might clash with that. And then we've got the more speckledy ones here. I think I like these shiny ones better. Oh dear, decisions. 
going to put the bow down there for a minute. Keep the bow like that. Just squash it a little bit. And of course I'd have to chop that off a bit. <laughs> what do you think? Oh. Just not sure about that colour on there. And if we didn't put a bow on there, I feel like it needs a bow. Two bows. <laughs> Maybe one bow. What if I can tie that a bit closer to the end? You don't have to waste so much of it. Oops, there is. It's a bit tricky tying this stuff. Ah. It's going all wrong. Gone all twisted. To start again. Maybe I should tie them that way. I've seen them tied like that before. Who? How do you tie your bows? Do you tie them like this? the other way. I'm not so sure about this. <laughs> it's not working for me. <laughs> I'm bow challenged tonight. Bow challenged. Alright, we'll go back to the other way. I know I should have left it the way it was. Just chopped the end off. It's all right, we're getting there. And I'm going to have to put a little um, thing in it. A dot, a glue dot. Okay, good night, Lynette. Thank you for your help. I'll be putting the ribbon. Oh, I just can't decide up the top or the bottom. Oh, maybe it does look better at the top. Just looking on the screen. Hmm. Not sure. These ones might be better because they'll complement it. If I do the plain one, it's too much of that one colour. Actually, maybe those ones. Mm. Oh, the darker ones. Okay, I've made a decision. Oh, this has a bit of back over here. I think we'll do that bow down there. Right, got a plan. It's good when you got a plan. And this is just totally different to the other cards I've been making today. <laughs> I'm using those meadows, the new ones.
these new ones coming to customers in November. And if you're a demonstrator, you can buy them now. And if you're not and you want to be, you can buy them now and you're, you can get them in the starter kit. Right, I'm going to put a glue dot inside of this thing. Because I don't want it coming undone. <laughs> I'm stuck to my finger. Okay, so squash that in there. Because we don't want that pulling out. I'll put another one in. Scrub them up there. And I shall put one under. I'll put it in there as well. I just don't want that pulling undone. A bit loose, isn't it? Put another one in there. Pulling there. I might go around this side and put it in there because we don't want that falling off. Need a good push on there. Okay. I want that down a little bit there. I might even put another one under there. So I want that to stay there. Okay. And then chop that off there. I know I'm being <laughs> picky about it now. I went too short. Oh no! No, it's okay. So it looks like I meant it, doesn't it? Sort of. <laughs> I wanted it to go across there, so you could put another dot under there to hold it there but I think it'll be all right like that right I'm gonna keep that little piece because that might come in handy for something put that up there with the bin with those gold leaves right ribbon over there and we want up there that up there off the table. Make sure you don't lose all your dies, okay? That one up there. Look, we're almost there. Just going to do some of these. Actually, I'll use the other end. two sizes on this. I think it's just a case of whack them on. Oh look at that. How oh, pretty. Put 
Maybe should have put that one down a little bit more. I think it's stuck there now. Oh no, there it is. How's that? Are you in the right spot? I don't think I can move them now. <coughs> and then I might put one down here. And I have two. I don't know if that's the right spot. Sure about that. Oh no, it came off the thing. Came off my sticky bit. Okay, that's where it's going. I don't think I can get it off there now. Oh yes, I can. <laughs> Good one, you bling bling challenge, isn't it? Is it stuck on there? There we go. Right, oh, I'm going on. Congratulations, everybody. Just remember to put a piece inside the card. Okay, finished. Put a piece over here somewhere. Where is it? I think I buried it under everything. I'm going to put white in this one because I've used the vellum. Just trim it down to match that front bit. Put a thin bit of Tombow around the edge, or tear and tape if you like, whatever your glue is. Just got to fix this side of that with my little nail file. I must be getting close to needing a new blade again. <laughs> Center that in your card. Looks okay. So with that, you can just use your bone folder to rub the edges down. So sticking up like that one was. rid of the fluffy bits off there. A little bit up the top too. There we go. Here's my little congratulations card. Lovely. Thank you everybody. So don't forget during October if you join, they've got a great special on, which is the, let me find it on my phone for you. It's on my page, on my Bipey Handcrafts page, in my Facebook or Instagram. My blog, on my Stampin' Art page. <laughs> oh, it's everywhere. <laughs> it's, um, it's actually in the last post that I put up in this one. If you go through there, just the 35. So you get 35% off your starter kit price, which takes it down to around $109 something. 
or oh, thanks to many, or thirty five percent more product for the hundred and sixty nine dollars, which is great value. So yeah, you get three hundred and seventeen dollars something worth of products to choose yourself. It's an awesome price. So keep that in mind. That goes to the end of October, thirty first of October. And like I said before, you can always add products that are in the pre-order for demonstrators. So you get to order things early, which is great. Okay, um, what other news is there? I've got a class on Sunday week that's already booked. I've got a card and cover in November on the 18th in, in Piermont. So I've still got a couple of spots left for that. And then we've got the big market stall on the 26th of November in Piermont. So that will be Christmas in Piermont. I'm going to have a stall there. I'll have a lot of my cards there for sale and other things. I've been making a few other things. And that's on the 26th of November, Sunday, from I think it's 10 in the morning. They changed the time. It's a little bit earlier. So that'll be fun. So come and say hi if you're around. Alrighty, and I'll catch you all next week. Ciao.